Hurricane Irma turned its fury toward the Florida Keys on Saturday after setting off one of the largest evacuations of Americans from a storm and completing a destructive march along Cuba's northern coast. Irma was expected to rip through Florida's southern archipelago on Sunday morning, Monday morning NZT, as a Category 4 storm, the second highest designation on the Sophia Simpson scale. Wind gusts near hurricane force began to batter the Florida Keys. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said dot the storm's enormity over the past several days has daunted even veteran forecasters. Hurricane force winds extended 112 kilometers from Irma's center as it veered toward Florida, a state around 240 kilometers wide. U.S. President Donald Trump, who gathered his cabinet at Camp David, urged those in the path of the storm to obey all official instructions. Read more. Hurricane Irma now taking aim at Tampa as millions scramble to leave Florida. Irma ravaged islands brace for another blow. Irma hits Cuba as a Category 5 storm. U.S. holds breath as massive, deadly storm nears Florida. Irma has already broken all these records. Hurricane Irma, a lawnmower from the sky, just get out of its way, he said. Dot property is replaceable, but lives see not, and safety has to come first. Irma, which killed at least 22 people in the Caribbean was considered a life-threatening danger to Florida as well and could inflict a natural disaster causing billions of dollars in damage to the third most populous U.S. state. Tracking models showed Irma would make landfall on the western side of the Florida Peninsula and heading up the coast, bringing 209 gmh winds, storm surges up to 4.6 meters and flooding in some areas. The Washington Post reported that Irma is strong enough to change the shape of an ocean. Twitter user at Katie underscore K shared a video, and the newspaper said even though it looked as though it couldn't be possible, it was absolutely legit. I am in disbelief right now. She wrote, dot this is Long Island, Bahamas and the ocean water is missing. Basically, Hurricane Irma is so strong and its pressure is so low, it's sucking water from its surroundings into the core of the storm. The newspaper added that the phenomenon is not a sign of a tsunami adding the water will return and it's not expected to rush back with any great force. Meanwhile, amid urgent warnings from state officials to evacuate before it was too late, downtown Miami is all but abandoned. Sheets of rain swept through the deserted city of 400,000 people, forming large puddles in empty streets that are usually filled with tour buses and taxi cabs. The wind sent a construction crane spinning on the roof of the Miami World Center a billion-dollar mixed-shoes project near the home of the Miami Heat basketball team and the city's performing arts center. On Florida's west coast, resident Charlie Ball said he expected a storm surge to completely engulf the island of Sanibel where he lives. Just left the island and said goodbye to everything I own, said Ball, 62. Hurricane experts rattled Irma, located about 168 kilometers southeast of Key West on Saturday night, Sunday afternoon, NZT was a Category 5 storm, the highest ranking possible, when it crashed into Cuba during the morning. It gradually weakened to a Category 3 storm as it bumped along the island's northern coastline, flooding streets and sending waves crashing over sea walls. Maximum sustained wind stayed around 201 gmh, the NHC said. Irma is expected to regain strength as it steams over warm waters south of Florida. Irma will dump up to 25 centimeters to 51 centimeters of rain over Florida and southeast Georgia through Monday, Tuesday, NZT, the National Weather Service said, a fraction of what Hurricane Harvey dropped on Texas and Louisiana two weeks ago, killing 60 people and causing an estimated 180 billion US dollars in property damage. But unlike with Harvey, Dangerous winds will barely abate once Irma makes landfall. Tomda, a 66-year-old retired physician who along with his wife, Lorraine, fled their house near a large bay on the Gulf Coast on Tuesday for a small farm they own in North Carolina, said he does not expect much to be left when they return. It will be a nice waterfront lot in sunny Florida with no house, no trees, no cars, no boats and an amazing view of devastation as far as you can see. The Durs house is in Englewood, between Fort Myers and Sarasota near where the eye of Hurricane Irma is forecast to hit land. Destruction in Cubane, Cuba, the destruction along the north central coast was similar to that suffered by other Caribbean islands over the last week as Irma plowed into Ciego de Avila province. Cubans walked through ankle deep water in Caberian, a fishing town where streets were flooded and covered in seaweed. Elsewhere, winds toppled trees and utility poles or ripped apart roofs. This was the strongest storm Kay Berrien ever had. It'll take a while to recover from this, 
at least a few years, said Raila Shemendia, 28. It was the F.